Hey everybody, Solo Boon Docker, ready? Um, just wanted to make a quick video of what's going on. Um, first thing I want to talk about is the new RV. I did manage to secure 1995 Winnebago Brave 29 footer. It has its own separate bedroom in the very back, uh, bathroom, kitchen, you know, kitchen, dining room set, beautiful setup couple things missing out of it would be the microwave the AC unit itself the refrigerator and a TV so I'm planning on taking almost everything out of this RV the refrigerator, the microwave the AC the backup camera um, the trailer hitch my radio my stereo Everything that I think I'm going to need for the new one, I'm going to transfer it over. Now that's going to happen on either day two or day three. The first day when I get it back, I got to go make sure that it's completely legal. I got to go down Tuesday morning to the DMV, have them inspect it again, and go through it, and then get everything, the title and everything transferred in my name. I'm going to go ahead and take pay the extra seven or eight ten dollars whatever it is to get the title right then and there so I know it's free and clear and I don't have to worry about it being mailed anywhere it just comes straight to I have it right then and there transfer my plate over and make sure that new RV is legal then I'm gonna get a temporary plate for this RV for five or ten days whatever it goes and pay the extra five bucks I think it is to get it so I can have them both legal at the same time and transfer and keep them so I could transfer all my gear and clothes and and equipment over. It's going to take me a little bit of time. In the new RV where the refrigerator goes, it's nothing but a big frame system where it has no paneling on it. It does have the floor for the refrigerator to sit on, but as long as I can get that connected and up and running. That's all I'm really worried about. So I can stick all my food in there and get my fridge running up and right away. I'm going to have to get a, some coolers from work to put whatever food I have in there. And put into the coolers with some ice so I can save my food until I can get that right away. So I got to do it in one shot. Remove it from here. Transfer it to the other one. Hook it up. Get it leveled. And get it up and running. And then be done with it. That way I can put my food back in there and have it set up I'm gonna to have to see if I have what kind of wood I'm gonna to need to make sure it's secure properly and I could screw it in like it is right here so that way it doesn't move around um, he did say all the connections for the propane and the electric are still there and they all work he even included he even put in a team um, bracket or whatever uh, system so you can hook up outside I could put a propane tank from the from your barbecue outside and have it plugged in which is a great option and I never really thought about it but that would be great so I don't constantly use up everything that's in my tank I can use that one the he's got it says it's got to switch this primary and secondary so I could just switch it on to the outside one first use that propane first before I use the propane in the primary tank so that's a good idea um, he does have a 1500 watt inverter with it and a solar charger but no solar panels which is fine I do have my solar panels and I plan on going back to Harbor Freight and buying myself three more solar batteries and I do believe they sell the individual panels so I'm going to buy two more solar panels to add to the four that I have. Um, I don't know how I'm going to mount those. I'm going to probably mount flat right on. While the one I have right now is the setup that has that you can lift it and tilt. So I'm, I'm planning on doing that. And that would be to charge up all my batteries. I believe I'm, what I'm planning on doing is... The two solar panels that I buy with his solar charger, um, I'm going to run that wiring straight to my main battery that starts the RV. That way, 
I'm always got uh, something charging those batteries because I have my own solar charger controller here and a 3000 watt inverter so that's going to be in, used in conjunction with the 1500 watt inverter to give me enough power hopefully four um, 12 volt solar batteries would be enough to get me going I'll have two batteries up in the front to run the lights and stuff in the cab plus I'll have the the generator which I have to have I'm I was going crazy I've been going crazy in this one without having a generator it's like every two days I have to make sure I can get somewhere to plug in so I can charge up which I'm gonna have to do tonight when I get to work I'm gonna have to plug in in at work tonight so I can have power overnight so tomorrow Friday night uh, I'll be able to sleep out in the main part of the parking lot I'm, I'm just staying here for right now at the at work only because it's a lot more convenient and I don't have a lot of cash on me right now I got everything tied up into in this RV uh, every dollar I get I buy something for the RV which is basically I'm buying something like like anybody else you're buying stuff for your home this is my home there's things that I need things that I require um, different than what I would have at a if I had a home obviously because it's a mobile home recreational vehicle so I have to buy chemicals for the tank I gotta get uh, hoses for the tanks I gotta get chemicals for the water to treat the water so I can have water in here that's drinkable uh, you know I got I got a lot of different things I have to purchase so I have to get those items and load up on them so I don't run out and now I'm hoping that with this newer RV I'll have a lot more space I can take everything that's underneath this table that I'm sitting on right now it's completely filled all my all my shoes and stuff is I got shoes underneath there a big cabinet I mean I got everything stuffed down in there and it's taking up I can't sit in here properly so what I'm hoping is with all the new bigger area I will be able to make a, a space where I can store everything that I have underneath these two chairs uh, underneath this table underneath my couch and store it all in one area I have to see how they got, he has it set up. I believe the water tank is actually sitting inside one of the two uh, dining room table chairs area. Um, because he said he did, on the other side he took the couch out to have more space. So I have to check that out to see where the actual holding tank for the water is at. And then... I'm not sure if it has two tanks, one for gray water, one for black water, or if, if it just goes all in one tank. That's the other thing I need to find out. I'm going to make sure I got plenty of um, water, white hose for the water, drinkable water, and then um, my power cables. So I have a long cable, power cable. So that's, that's basically, you know, everything that I need to do for right now in order to get going once I get the other RV up and running then I'll be a lot more comfortable he did say that it has six practically brand new um, tires Bridgestone tires on there um, less than three years old plenty of tread on it um, the RV only has 53 or 56 thousand miles in on it in it so he basically said he just drove to Arizona from I guess Florida um, stayed there for three years and it looked like he had it basically parked for the three years he did have a window unit sticking out so I guess he was staying at a park somewhere and then he just came back in February with it and so now he's trying to get he's trying to get sell it and he had it up there for on Craigslist for quite some time and then I saw it gone and then by chance I just went looking through it again and bang I found it and he dropped the price down quite a lot 
So he did. When I finally got in touch with him, I texted him. I finally got in touch with him, and um, he knew I wanted it. So he's like, "Yeah, I only had like five or six people call or text me about it. They weren't really serious. Um, I'll maybe I should just hold it for you and give you give it to you at this price." And so I sort of freaked out about it. I said, like, "Yeah, you know that would be great." Um, but I'll tell you what, I'll give you this price if you go ahead and hold it for me and remove it off Craigslist and don't take any more takers and I will be there when I know when I'll be able to cash my check and have the cash in hand. I will drive, def it's down in Melbourne. So I'll drive straight down there and I'll pick it up for me and give you cash for it. No questions asked. And he's like, oh, that's great, you know. And then he texts me back and says, hey, I found the remote control for the flat 13-inch flat screen DVD TV. I'm going to install that for you. He said, I'm going to put a microwave in there for you. And then I started talking about the AC and the fantastic fan. He said, yeah, if your AC works, that would be everything. All the connections and power cables are all up there. So you could just connect right to it and seal it and you'd be good to go. I was like, okay, that's awesome. Since I'll have a little bit of cash, I'll be able to buy the proper stuff that I need. I'm going to get some rubber stuff and seal that and put, I mean, I'm going to do a great job, I hope, and making sure that there's no way any water is going to make it through that unit and come inside. I, I am looking at buying a different cowling on the outside. I've seen it on Craigslist. Uh, mine's all cracked. And it's missing parts on the outside. I mean, I think it's it's missing stuff. So I did see some on Craigslist. So I'm going to call a couple of those people up shortly and see if I can um, get them get a price on. I think they were like twenty-five, fifty dollars. They were looking for something like that, and go down there and buy it and make sure it fits before I buy it. But um, you can definitely go get one, a newer one. That way, it looks decent up there. The inside, I just have to wipe down and clean up. I gotta take that cowling off and uh, wipe it down, because all that red wood crap that's up there, that's it's just coming down. It's like a Coca-Cola color. The water is, and it's driving me bananas. And I'll be able to get rid of this old 13-inch. Uh, well, I'm, I'll probably keep that. See if I can stick that in my bedroom. If there's space in the bedroom for my t for this TV and DVD player, I'm going to set that up inside my room. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to uh, get everything up and running in several days. I have to make sure I got everything pretty much done by Friday night. So, on Saturday morning, I can get to work. Now, once I get everything out of this RV, I don't know when I'll be able to get down to the junkyard with a ride home leaving my RV at work or somewhere where I can get to it and drive this one see I may have to go like to like Target and park my RV at Target and then draw have someone drive me back to the bait shop pick this RV up drive down to Benel to the junkyard then go ahead and see if I can sell it to them for a certain amount of money hopefully over 500 and then come back to my RV at Target and then I'll be done with this RV I mean it, it was a great little RV it has taught me a lot I learned a lot of things from this little RV but I think it's time is over I don't want to put this RV on anyone else um, only because of the issues I've had and the frustrations I've gone through the wood floor is starting to get soft the, the roof is soft I mean it's it's I don't want to put this on anyone now if somebody wants to buy for the motor and tranny and take the whole thing that's a different story uh, I just have to get rid of it right away I won't be able to put it up on Craigslist and wait for a thousand, you know, a week for someone because there's no way I could keep it around for a week. So maybe the longest I'll have to keep it around for would be at least three days. 
and that that's gonna suck. I'm gonna uh, I'm, I'm, I may be causing some problems with that, but if I can make it the three days, if not the first day. If I can make it to three days, and I can get down to the junkyard on my day off, day off next week, and drop it, so, or the week after I get everything done, and see if I get down to the junkyard and see what they'll give me for it. <clears throat> I do have the title in hand, so, and it does drive. I'm going to be driving it straight to them, but it's going to be. I'm going to have to put a piece of plywood over the hole to cover up the hole in the ceiling. And it's not going to have the microwave, the refrigerator, um, the backup camera I'm going to take with me, which i got to figure out how, to, how they wire that. It looks like they use a telephone line and tapped right through it. So I'm going to cut it at the telephone line and cut it and un unplug it over on this side because I think it just plugs in on this camera. And I'm going to redo this whole system up perfect so... And I'm going to hardwire the camera this time to go on with the ignition sense. That way I don't have to worry about, you know, plugging it in and using up my plug all the time. I, I need that for other things. And I have a small solar panel system that sits in the window that I can stick into the plug-in. And that also helps charge my batteries up front. So hopefully this summer I'll have plenty of sun and cool down with the AC I just hope I don't get this AC is damaged that's why I put a bunch of stuff on the outside I put some filters in there to cover up the holes to try to keep it from getting any more damage than it has been uh, when I do plug in at the campgrounds at 30 amp and I crank that baby on it gets cold in here so I know it works so I know everything is perfect in it I just gotta get it out of there in one piece and get it off the top and lower it down in one piece without damaging it so it's going to take two people for me to get that AC unit off and hopefully I can find someone to give me a hand but that's it for right now um, that's all I got hopefully I'll be back together with you guys shortly definitely when I get my my RV I'd probably do one more video in between now and then because it's like eight days and I hate going that long without uh, any video. I'm going to go try to do some fishing right now. So maybe I'll put that up sometime later this week. But till I see you guys again, keep boondocking. This is Solo Boondocker. I'll see you guys later.